This is the first of a series of short videos which will show users how to activate, configure, and use the eClinicalWorks Scribe function. This function allows you to use natural language recognition and plain text to insert information into different parts of your progress note. It can be used without Dragon naturally speaking, but it's much more powerful and efficient to use with voice recognition software such as Dragon. This is what our clinic uses. First, the eClinical Work Scribe function needs to be configured and activated. To do so, you must be logged in as an administrator or have someone with administrative privileges do this. To do so, you would go to the admin band, and then as you scroll down, you will find product activation. This will bring up a screen that shows all of the on-demand activation options within eClinical Works. As I scroll down, you can see Scribe listed here. Note that it says it has been activated. If your installation does not say that it has been activated, you will either have an option to activate it or you may need to talk to your account manager to have this activated. Bear in mind that Scribe has a per provider cost to it. Each provider who has Scribe activated will be charged $25 per month by eClinical Works. You only have to activate it for those users who want to use it. It's not an all or none for all providers. In this case, since my installation is activated, I'm going to go to settings, and this will show a list of all of my providers. If they don't all show up, notice that there's a next link, which will take you to the rest of the list. If you look down, you can see some of them are marked inactive and some active. Those who are marked with active status are those who can use Scribe right now. If I wanted to activate a new person, I would check on the box next to their name, and then I would click enable. After a couple of seconds, the screen will refresh and you would now see that that provider is listed as active. For the demonstration purposes, I'm not going to activate this provider because he doesn't use it and I don't want to get charged another $25. Once it's activated, you can see the view that the, that the provider would see by going to a patient. I'm going to go back to a blank schedule and I'm going to go look for, in this case, a fake patient. We're going to go to Wolverine. I'm going to open up his progress note, and what you can see is this two-view screen. You may be used to seeing a screen that looks like this with your typical progress note. There's the three tabs here. The second one is Scribe. When you click Scribe, you'll get the two-window view here. If you click Scribe and instead you get a message that eClinicalWorks has not been set up for this provider, this is what likely has happened. Either you didn't set up that patient and, I'm sorry, that provider and activate them, or the provider of record for the note is not Scribe activated. I will show you what this looks like. I'm going to go change this to one of the other providers who is not Scribe enabled. You can now see I have a different provider listed. When I go to Scribe, I will now get this error saying that it has not been in, uh, activated for this page, uh, provider. Instead, I'm going to go back, change it back to me, and now since I'm the provider of record, you can see the scribe window. Once you can see this for the provider you're wondering about, you know that they are set up for scribe and are ready to configure it. In the next video, I will show a couple of the configuration options.